Shalom, shalom. One sorry, giving our presence, glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakaq, Kodash. Love and honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Sanitation to the hopeful elect that is pushing this word in the four corners, the highways and byways. Once again, our praises, glory and honor is due to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakaq, Kodash. All right? Now this is our... Uh, Brothers from GMS Guyana, you know we out here as usual um, on a sat on a Saturday night doing what we do, you know, preaching and prophesying the downfall of Edom. All right, you know, starting with Babylon and and our Confederates, right? And for those who don't know, Mr. Babylon is so-called America. All right, you know. Um, now we are just going to touch on uh, you know basically the wars right now because the, it seems like the entire earth is preparing for battle you know which it is right because it's according to prophecy right there is such thing as the third world war right Second war is talking about what? You no know, World War II, believe it or not. Alright? And the third war, war is quickly approaching. Alright? You know, as we speak right now, right now, you know, Guyana and Venezuela is in great tension. Right? There's tension at the border. Right? You know, with Venezuela being an aggressor to um, possibly invade Guyana. Right? And we say possibly, but we know, you know, through the spirit that it's going to happen. Right? Because... Yeah, because um, we know it's going to happen according to prophecy. Alright? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah, you know, that, that prophecy, Yahweh Shai talk about it, right? Palestine, Hamas, all right, Gaza, you know, however you want to put it over, right? You're hearing about the war with Russia and Ukraine, all right? You're hearing about rumors of war with, you know, uh, China, you know, want to seize Thailand, Taiwan, Slovakia, you know? Taiwan. Yeah, you know, because hey, the so-called Taiwanese and the Chinese are the same people, all right? They're um, Mohab, yeah. all right? The card to the scripture, right? You know, and which, which and really and truly, you know, it's Esau for the separation, yeah. you know? A lot of, you know, sep separation and a lot of deception that Esau put out there actually is leading to a lot of tension now you know and that's why eventually everybody gonna, gonna aid this man you know 
And this man that I'm talking about is the so-called white man. You know, the right. so-called white race. You know? Eventually everybody gonna say, hey, you know, this this is the enemy. Alright? says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled of all these things. Yeah, God, see that ye be not troubled, and this talking about the elect, all right, the election. You know, you to turn, be troubled, all right, because this judgment really and truly coming for you, all right, you know, because, um, elect gonna mend the ways all right the elect is going to amend their ways you know and the most is going to show us mercy but for those who's not part of the election you know meaning to turn of israel you know prepare to die prepare for all sorts of sorrow Just to show you off because a lot of these people they're worried they're troubling their spirit about December 3rd yeah. which to the spirit ain't nothing gonna happen December 3rd you know the only thing that's gonna happen is Venezuela is gonna do the uh, referendum or what's not you know but it, it wouldn't be any major thing happening but afterwards it's when it's going to happen Yeah, afterwards, you know, eventually, uh, Venezuela will invade this place. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're gonna invade the place um, based on the famine that will hit them hard. Because the nation is, is, is being crippled because of Esau's policy. They had sent in an economic hit plan. Socialism. Some people would say that socialism is not good, but look at um, look at Afghanistan. Our Afghanistan is suffering because of democracy. But you see all these policies would never would never would never bring up a, a successful or peaceful nation because of the the, the head head nigga in charge, the HNIC so to speak, which is the Edomites, yep. right? They're the head niggas in charge because what they're doing is organized chaos, order of the chaos, right? They're not, they're not ordering the people according to um, the laws of Yahweh Bashem, right? which is in peace and mercy, but it's true, um, uh, what the scripture saying, um, Sabrak, uh, unlawful, un yeah, unlawful decree, right? They're running these places. They're bending the rules for themselves and enforce it upon upon the uh, the weak or the, the meek, right? And the same thing the, the Roman the Romans did, right? And the, and the tribe of Pharisees, they were bending the laws for themselves, but to the to the, to the uh, poor and to those that, that are not in power, they were enforced very strictly to keep the people in check. Just uh, add a little bit more to go, right? You know, Venezuela is going to invade this place in the spirit of prophecy as well, mm -hmm. right? Because it's just prophecy, you right. know? Yeah. It's what the most sight desire to happen, all right? We read down in the scripture, you know, and the brother bringing out to can tell you though, yeah. all right? A lot of people don't understand this term democracy, right? Because the brother said that, you know, is um thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, can't. A lot of people don't understand this term democracy, but basically it just means, you know, uh, eat them root, yeah. right? Because the, the term democracy, you know, it means rulership, all right, or authority. And when, what's the, um, what is called when, ah, uh, when you rearrange letters in the word? Uh, anagram. Anagram, right. The term democracy is an anagram for Edom rule. Yeah. All right? When you're breaking down properly, you know? But yeah, so all these uh, presidents and so forth that you see being set up under democracy is actually who ESA select to run the specific country. That's true. All right? Because think about it real quick, huh? How could Trump, at the time of the um, election here in Ghana, how could Trump, an uh, outward, an uh, outer, outer party, not even a Guyanese, who don't even have even mentioned anything about it, but Guyana, right? But, then, but, we, but we understand that they have, we have business with them, we're indebted to them, yeah? So as, as a president, he would know, he would know which country or owe and so forth, and which country he owes, so we have to know about the business of the country, right? But how can he say who's to sit in power or who's supposed to sit in power in a nation he has nothing, he's not a president of, you know? Which means that it's a hierarchy and the other nations is small province, provinces, right? If they have such an input to decide who, the, um, who will be the president. But Jake didn't want to hear another dog. Jake take his fear, Jake take that he both actually come. Yeah, yeah. No. Hey, the so-called election has never been fair and will never be fair. You know? It's just a pro it's just a, a smoke screen yeah. of the um of the elite. You know, because at the end of the day, they're gonna um, put in power whoever they want to put in power. Right. And that's the whole um issue that they got with Venezuela because they didn't want Maduro to be in power. All right, they had their own puppet for the office. You know, but it so happened that Maduro is still in power. So what they do is um, impose a lot of sanctions on them. You know, and hey, like the brother said, send in the economic hit plan to uh, deteriorate the country. Right? Yes. Deteriorate the country in an attempt to make the uh, current president look bad, so the people is gonna rise up against him. Yeah, yeah. Right? But what? Well, basically, he had something up his sleeve. You know, which is what he trying to do now. Anybody spiritual, they would see it. All right. But yeah, those um, you know, most likely the, the president of Guyana going there, you know, which he nothing but a puppet for the elite. All right. 
Yeah, we can uh, get back to the end Machi 24 and verse 7 says, says verse 6 says all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. Yeah, all these things must come to pass, right? You know these these bars that start in these pestilence. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, you know these things that are gonna happen, right? Like I said, yeah. It, it must come to pass, right? That's yep. what I said. You know, because why? It's in the spirit of prophecy. Yep, yep. You know, even if all these nations had adequate, you know, they didn't have any poor, they just had middle class and rich people, eventually they will attack each other. Yep, all right? Yep. Because why? It's prophecy. You know? And Mose already said what? In the case, middle class will be seen as poor. Yeah, next month. Yeah, but uh, this is just the beginning of sorrows that you can to see, right? Because these rumors of wars are just this is the uh, this is the type of spirit that you saw. Don't know the whole side they gave us the spirit of fear. They gave us a power and love and a sound mind. And a song might mean that you understand everything that will happen and why it will happen. What will, what will happen, right? Because God will never forsake the men that have been preaching and teaching His word. And if you if you His word, His word, His word, His word, you shall never fall, you know? But, um, it's just, this is not the end, this is just the warm up, right? It's just the warm up. Four sight, now, now the pistons clear up and so forth, you know, to get from Australia, the, the kingdom. Then the media's destroy one another, and then the four sight will put the finishing touch on it, you know? Yep, because, um... Yeah, can This is, uh... Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11 says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Yeah. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which, it, which I please. That's right. And it shall prosper mm -hmm. in the thing wherewith I sent it. Yeah. Right? So the most I word is going to prosper. You know, it's gonna deliver, it's gonna manifest regardless of what. Alright? There is no, you know, off, taking off the, the prophecy button. Yeah, yeah. You know? There's, there's no, no there is not even any turning volume dump. <laughs> you know, there's not volume dump. Yeah, you know? The button is stuck. <laughs> the, like, crying it open and sorry, then the button is stuck. Up and it's stuck. Yeah. You know? It's like a um, space bar and keyboard. And that shit gonna, that shit gonna keep pressing till it everything full up. Yep. So the top foot. Are we ready? We ready to pass it. We ready to get um shall not pass it on the gun. Yeah. Right? Right, I'm gonna stick it. Right, so it's a yano. It's a yano uh button. Yellow buffer right. in NATO. And this especially for you. Christian, right? Because y'all don't want to see this war come to pass, which the most I already set in motion. You know? Y'all could do how many religious day of prayer y'all want. You know? Which y'all in itself is just a mass of confusion. You know? You got six different motherfucking denomination prayers in six different gods. So called gods. Millions, trillions. <laughs> At this point, because everybody got their own denomination. Yeah, and everybody got their own understanding with the same denomination yeah, as well. Yeah. So the you know, interdenomination. A sub sub denomination. <laughs> of a sub denomination. <laughs> of a teacher. Of a denomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is uh, Matthew 5 verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. 
one judge or one title shall in no wise pass away from the law till all be fulfilled. Yep. yep. Not one judge or one title from the book as in um, as in the as in the Hebrew characters, everything shall be fulfilled. None, yep. of, it, none of it shall skip. Yep. All the words, the words of this book is come to life. You know? Thus say Jehovah to me out of and this and, and we been saying it bro, okay, you know? Yo, the most like a the best guy that's so much. Y'all know it. You can hit y'all so hard because y'all don't know about y'all don't know about um, trauma when it comes to kind of disaster or, or civil war. Because we were they had civil war back in the 1800s, 1900s and so forth. But I'm sure we're not compared to what really gonna happen. When all them nations come, they can, they can come from so much, so much parts of the world, you want to have to Especially because of the same aisle and the food that this place is making, or the potential that this food got, this place got to make food. Because uh, President Ali, I see a massive agriculture. You see this, this field with a whole bunch of stuff. And this, you know, this is what they're going to export to all of it. Venezuela will take action. Yep. Right? So, you know, piggybacking off what you say, ah, I see they're doing a lot of agriculture road building up the site, you know, yeah. for this site because they are already preparing. Yeah. So oh when, because remember, most of the food coming from Esquivel right now. Yep, yep. Right? Yep. So they are already preparing for Fish once, fishes. yeah, once they get to, uh, Heated in the Esquivel, they can start producing, you know, on the other side of the country, yeah, you know, yeah. which have um, viable farmland, right? But still, but still, this crazy strip of this, bro. Because these things are fucking all the money, buddy. Well, it's Elam, so. Yeah. The man fucked the majority of the money, so. You could, you could start to allow agriculture and bluff people and tell people it's going on. And, but yeah, yep. That's my two twenty four and verse seven. Just for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Yep, nation against nation. Yeah. All right. You know, and like I was saying, like we've been saying, the the whole, the entire earth, you know, seems like it's preparing for war. Yeah. Right. You know, and now. Uh, one of the things that you said Ak, is that um, things is going to be worse than the previous war. Yeah. You know, and the fucked up thing about that is that a lot of the truth, all right, or the, the terrors of the previous war is actually being hidden. Yeah. Right? But when you go on yeah, the internet, yeah. you can look these things up. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And when you look it up, you're gonna realize that it was extremely dreadful. Alright? And this war, this war that coming is gonna be a million times worse. Yep, yep. Alright? So you don't you don't wanna get caught on the other side. You don't want that smoke. Yeah, you don't want to smoke. Right? You wanna get caught on the side of on the side of the Ahawa Basham Yahoo Shai. You know? Which is the name? True name of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the true name of His Son is Yahweh Shai. You know, not Jesus, not Yeshua. All right, not the male, one and only name, and, it, and it's definitely not Muhammad or King <laughs> Selassie. All right. So, yeah, he's with us. All right. 
Um, but, um, all the bombardment of information is like, you know what? I think so, I know. Yeah. Hey, I know. No emotion and take it exactly like that. Yeah. I stick to what I know. Yeah. I don't watch none. I go. <laughs> right? You, you, got, you got your thing and I got my thing. I got one walking for me. Yep. Because like, um, I had a, a conversation with a chick, you know, about, because he's a follower. He's a big fan of um, Farrakhan. Right? Uh -huh. So I, I brought to the, um, I bring it to your attention, I show you the video and watch that. Yeah. That. So loud. No man, um, that you used to teach or you basically know that we are the children of Israel. Yeah. So loud. Not yeah. a word. <laughs> right? Are you saying you know you're the right way yeah. stuff? You know we gotta break it down. Oh, you know. Break it down, TJ. Show yeah. you, boom. But that's a good question we ask. And in the video, he actually said, the reason why he stopped is a um is a rabbi came to you and said we should have dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they had the dinner, we'll and this is on. this is no lie, alright? This video is on the internet. Yep, yep. Right? It's on YouTube. It is a public access, public knowledge. Yep. Right, he said it's out. The rabbi basically told him this needs to stop teaching them, all right? And then he can restore his image, right? right? Because there was already uh, putting out a set of tropes about it, you know? Because the first thing that's hit you with is anti-Semitic. Yeah. You know? The next thing that's hit you with sexual assault. Some, some sexual um, lawsuit, right? Yep. Killing these niggas with a the shit these days, bro. Basically, play on um, people's emotions. Yeah. Right? Uh, you know, real quick, right? One of the things that, that they do, right? They would invite you to a dinner, just sing up. And then, you say you're having a good time, you smell any stuff and you check it. You can check what you want. The mark of big thing in the room that could affect you alone. The mark of play, hypersonic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Can. Um, that was some part, can, right? Yeah. But hey, um, before we go back to the room, yeah. you know Jake always disruptive, you know, always idle. Always, um, 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 um revelous. You know, if you look at the look, look of that word, it means that the noisy, the, the sporadic, the the unruly, you know, the disorderly, yep. you know, the loud, obnoxious, all of somebody. So Jake just carried the Babylonian spirit with him because this what Babylon was, you know, and a, a, a free for all, you know, and this is where Jake, Jake in, and Jake loved that because he, um, you tell Jake that he's free, and Jake, Jake cuss you to now till, till whenever. You know what I'm saying? Build that kingdom come, which in the wheel, right? Is the right context, yeah. right? Nah, that's what they gonna do. Yeah. That's what I think it's been doing since. Yeah. yeah. But um, just a little back on Farrakhan, right? He, uh, yeah, I was talking about, I, I saw this interview about, um, I think it was Vice, and they were explaining how how they get you when they said they get you they get dirt on you anybody politicians whatever they would they would invite you over to, to some little some little something and somebody would moonlight you moonlight meaning that they you and them is friend but they got some dirt on them but they send they send you for like let you guide them so they can set you up you might have a beer you might have a cup of water you might even be talking and some supersonic some some hypersonic Tone will put you to sleep that will even signal to you this analogy type of you know, type of knowledge that these people have. And then you we do you wake up and you find yourself in a bunch of old tools which is yourself in some unfamiliarized position with doing some 
on common things and they got a dangling over your head until you do what they tell you to do so if he did go to the meeting in your confidence in his Allah which is with which is the pagan God they worship him right the put in the same position if he done it went to the position or the R3 a list we gave him more money there's no problem or you're doing a good job you're getting them stir up you're laying you're laying the feel important now here what you can do you're gonna flip the script and you're gonna say something else this weekend matter of fact tomorrow when when, when you don't home a whole fraction simmer though right there's reason you just like though just so the good got dirt to you right because it's Proud and he got power. And he like this here, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do, Farrakhan. You go back on that same uh, forum and you can say this to a T. Not only hit, you can say it with your heart and they're gonna believe you. Right? Now go on, run along, run along. You can, you can get yourself in a check. By some means, some endorsement, both can sell all over the world for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of coverage and whatnot. Cause them man, them man care about these luxuries of this world, bro. Yep. But anyway, going back to the war, he says one that fun and all of this say, and none of these religious leaders can't tell you none of this stuff, right? Because this is what has to happen, and they don't want to happen because they love the world. And it's just risk, yeah. No. Also, too, you know, these are religious leaders. You know, most of them are ignorant. Yeah. All right, you don't understand the scriptures properly. All right, but hey, like the brother said too, you don't want it to happen because you know some of these scriptures you don't really need to break it down. There's not much breaking down to it. Yeah. Right, because like the what we just read, you no know, nation shall rights against nation yep, yep. and you should hear of wars and rumors of wars you know it does simple you know if you can't see the like right now or more than ever okay. you know you know it does simple you you should you should get them yep, right yep. but you know what everybody is concerned about their own you know their own going their own business yeah all right because you know the pastor are already thinking about buying his next car all right are you thinking about buying a son a car? Right? And this is not no makeup thing. This is thing that is actually happening. Alright? Getting other properties, expanding the business. This is the uh, that's your mindset to so continue building this building these so houses to be a good place. You know. Um, yep. This is uh um, 1 John 2 and 15 Love not the world Neither the things that are in the world If any man love the world The love of the Father is not in him Right? So they love the world So the love of the Father could have never been in him Because he would have never go to the meeting in the first place Yeah, he would have said He would have said you come, you come if you want to talk And you come to my congregation If you want to talk I ain't going to have no one on one with you Who's you? And he talk out, let's shit the money Jews and so forth. And you know, he stands stiffly. He went to the meeting and he might whisper sweet nothings in the ears and he get wet like a bitch. You know? And he start backtracking. Yeah. Right? Like, you know? Because, like you say, I keep, keep care about the world. Yeah. Right? And there's, um, there's a thing with us. Right? But it's here, a man who has nothing to lose is a dangerous man. Yeah. We don't have anything to lose. The only thing we have to lose is this truth exactly right and that's why we we all learn to hate so much right yeah. and that's why we we are able to talk the entire truth right and that's why a lot of people can't really um like cope with us presence yeah. because we can tell you like it is and they can take it by the reputation like why you would take why you would why you would push this why you would come out every saturday in this street and go on pub go on, and post this up on the internet and go public with this you know what i'm saying hey. why would he do it why would he risk so much because we understand the value and this place is dumb this is nonsense this is nothing to us yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. no i was saying um one of my co-worker right 
said about you know some fellas in the uh, look like a Spanish, right? You know, some fellas was like threatening me. Yeah. Right? And I know how them East Coast Spanish get up, right? Yeah, yeah. They will rub you, you know, this guy's a tarmen. Yeah, yeah. With words of a tarmen. Tarmen with words terribly. Right? Telling me um go back to the country and everything. Yeah. Which uh you know simple things like that is a joke but what they say is true thing humor. Yeah. Right? Play please make me in it. Play please bring me in it. Right? So yeah. the the course to show you these these people are already on ease. You know, they are already on edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You know? And those the um Hey, the, the volatile nature, that's why I say, right? Because Jake always up here, or they just down here, they can't be even healed. They can't be balanced. They fucking are balanced. Uh, but hey, the scripture say what? The scripture say that most I have been given, given us a spirit of fear. But of love and a sound mind. Yeah. And the oh. sound mind is where the balance comes from. Yeah, yeah. Right? I know. Because you're not easily stirred up, right? You know? You stay watchful, alright? You stay prayed up, you stay studied up, alright? Continue to read, continue to watch the, the prophecies, alright? You know, and Hey, God, this truth has gave you an ease of mind, you know, the sound mind, right? The scripture says, great peace of neighbors keep thy law. God. Right? So, and like, like I was mentioning, that's where they can't go to because being an uncle, we just waited for the whole place to fall apart. So when we hear about the war, it's just like we don't expect to be being preached about it, you know what I'm saying? And we lose enough to the war if the war is start. Right? We don't give a follow this already. So we're just going to talk about this in the same chapter of the Greek. That is real quick, right? Yeah. You know, thinking about it empathetically, right? You put yourself in their shoes, it probably would have been the same way because if you don't know what the fuck going on, like, what sure. is what do you fuck about to happen? Yeah. No, obviously you're gonna be on the end. Yeah. You no, know, you're gonna be like fuck. You know? And you just you're gonna just be looking for the next opportunity to get you know, to get out of the situation. Yeah. You know? So what? Um, is going to come and present them with a hey, this, you know, this, take this, we could always track you, we could always, you know, ensure you're safe, make sure, um, make sure you're safe, you know, ensure you're a citizen, we can tell you if you know, uncommon, uncommon dangers, but where yeah. to go safe, so we can find them. yeah, yeah, go ahead, yeah, but, uh, the spirit, I think I want to touch it, the spirit of Jake, being uh, volatile is the, the love of many shall wax cold, right? And they're gonna continue to write. That's why war. That's why war is turning up because the love of many is waxing cold. Nobody don't give a fuck about nobody. Somebody get knocked down, you video and everything. You won't get held down like one one. Instead of calling like one one, you video it. You know, instead of calling like one, you laughing or or some shit, buddy. And that's what Esau do, desensitize you to, to compassion, have compassion for another human being. But instead of take things lightly, right? But um, the elect, yeah, yeah. 